the review warrior. Back when we unfortunately lost Paul Rubens, I wanted to review this film. I couldn't find my copy of it because I lost it in my movie room somewhere. But thankfully today, I found it. And once I did, I ran upstairs as quick as I could, quicker than Pee Wee could pick the secret word. Pee Wee's Big Adventure stars Paul Rubens, Elizabeth Daly, Mark Holton, Diane Salinger and Judd Oman. When eccentric man-child Pee Wee Herman gets his beloved bike stolen in broad daylight, he sets out across the U.S. on the adventure of his life. On the outside, it looks like an innocent film about a man-child looking for his stolen bike with no problems, while also meeting some nice folk on the way. But this is a Tim Burton film, so it's in fact, weird and wonderful with some weird as hell and creepy imagery. Including some insane nightmare sequences, and the classic Large Marge scene. You can tell Tim Burton directed this, mainly because of the odd imagery. It adds so much whimsy and wonder to the film. It's such a bizarre film, feeling like a weird animated film. I love how Pee Wee Herman is basically this huge kid. Paul Rubens owns the role as Pee Wee Herman. It's the role that everyone will remember him for, and he easily makes this role so memorable. From this, Pee Wee's Playhouse, Big Top Pee Wee and Pee Wee's Big Holiday. He adds that childlike whimsy to the role that no one else could ever pull off. He owns the role exactly like Robin Williams did as the genie in Aladdin. Paul Rubens just embodied the character of man-child that Pee Wee is known for and he is perfect. Another funny part of the film was Mark Holton as the spoilt Francis. When he and Pee Wee have the classic, I know you are, but what am I, battle, it's like watching two big kids arguing and I love the two together as the two rivals. The other memorable thing being the incredible score by Danny Elfman. I was told by a good friend of mine that this was the first film he ever did the score for. He was still in Oingo Boingo during this time, but while he wasn't doing songs for the band, he was doing score for the film. From the first note of the score through to the end credits, Danny Elfman composed a whimsical and oddball score. The opening notes of the overture at the start was like this mischievous and adventurous music to start off the film. And we can't go without mentioning the classic breakfast machine scene where Elfman's score really shines. Whenever people think of this film, I know for a fact that the first thing that comes to mind is the breakfast machine. That or the tequila dance scene. As far as flaws go, some of the comedy does fall flat. Like when Pee Wee goes to the zoo and turns his headlights on. Dunno if it was meant to be funny, but if it was, it didn't really get me. Not saying the whole film was bad, I really liked Pee Wee's big adventure. It's a harmless enough film with some classic Tim Burton imagery and bombastic score by Danny Elfman. Paul Rubens will always be remembered for this role, and it makes me happy that this film will always be a reminder of how good of an actor Paul Rubens was. Pee-wee's Big Adventure. B+. Thanks for watching my review. If you have any ideas for reviews, comment below and let me know. See you next time on The Review Warrior. Also, if you like what you see, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.